way this Parmesan cheese is, is upright makes me feel like it's just one, you know, one degree away from this little Parmesan cheese pyramid collapsing. That's a nice selfie. But I was gonna really say, what are wax beans? You know, I try, like, sometimes I don't wanna have, like, um, these mashed potatoes caught my attention. You know, sometimes I don't wanna buy frozen fruits, foods, cause then I have to go straight home to put it away. But I completely forgot that canned foods exist. Usually I prefer frozen because it's supposedly healthier, but I'm like, wait a minute, canned foods exist. Cans are really dirty, and you know what? I don't even have a can opener, but I was also looking at the mashed potatoes. I've been wanting mashed potatoes. They have red beans and rice together. Bro, that's like ready to eat, bro. They have black eyed peas with pepper and onions. Bro, this is a whole meal. But these cans don't have the, they don't have the pool tab either. Dang. Boiled peanuts. I didn't even know they sold that. So we have like $2, I mean, oops, not $2, $12. So I have two La Sierra beans and then we have this new spice. And then I think we're gonna get these chips. I really like, uh, it's called Santitas and I really like their hard texture. They're also gluten-free. You know, these chips, I love the Lay's Flaming Hot, but they're not gluten-free. They have malted barley flour and they also contain milk just in case y'all are like um, vegan. Yes, I identify as vegan, but sometimes I eat those, but well, actually I stopped eating those because I'm gluten-free like AF, like that's not a choice. Like I cannot eat gluten. Some pickle chips. You know, I feel like today I've been in my customer service voice. I've been in my, um, like trying to talk like, oh, so perfect for the camera. I always talk like that because I want to keep my voice clear so that if people are using captions, they'll show up properly. But there's also like, you know, there's entertainment and there's trying to be an entertainer. And then there's also sometimes just trying to pep yourself up because you feel a little down, like, oh, dang, like, am I going to make rent type thing? You know, like the reality setting in and I'm over here vlogging. And it's like, yes, just got to keep the faith, you know. Um, and look at these cool sweaters. Fuzzy, pretty sweaters. Um, yeah, you just got to keep the faith, you know. I'm like talking out loud but I'm like speaking to myself at the same time um never never trying to drop the perfect facade like never trying to uh let go of that like optimism but in reality I stay optimistic not to fake anything but to stay optimistic for myself like you gotta show up for yourself bro you know waffle textured clothing very pretty clothing Great for layering, it says. If I want to say something meaningful one day, guess what? This is so pretty, y'all. I'll have a platform. I'll have a platform to say all the meaningful things I want to say. And it will be amazing. Um, and I'll have invested in myself to the point where, like, when I really need to speak up and have a voice and use my voice, it'll work when we want to talk about more important subjects that need attention, it'll work. So right now the guy was like, is this yours, sir? And I said, yeah, girl, I need to watch my effing tone. Look, the reason why I don't want a regular job is because it sucks. So if I know that these people's jobs sometimes suck, then I need to be on my best effing behavior, literally. I need to check myself at the door and say, yo, watch your tone, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I need to be saying yes or yes, sir. Cause yes is a more respectful word than yeah. Like literally, that's how deeply I think of it and how much attention I need to give to it because these people deserve respect. Yes, they're working at Walmart. Um, I am unemployed. I'm not even on the hierarchy right now, you know? Um, some people think like, I don't know, they're just a worker. I hate that, I hate that thought. I hate that mentality. These are people's kids, people's brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and everything. And 
how how do people even have the audacity to believe like oh they're just a worker bro that's crazy that that's crazy to me you know it's funny how can i get so riled up on a concept that i'm just talking about all randomly right but there's context to it um people treat customer service workers pretty like bad sometimes you know and i think it's disrespectful and so yes I may have only said yeah instead of yes, but to me, that bugs me. It bugs me. And so I made sure to say thank you when I was leaving in a better tone. Because I will not play with that. I will never, ever, ever play with the concept of being so in my head that I don't respect people. Like, that's a botched concept to me. On a better note, you know, Remedy Organics is that girl. And so I got the berry immunity. It has 10 grams of protein. It has strawberry, camu camu, lion's mane, elderberry, and prebiotics. You know, I've always been scared of getting this one because it has camu camu and lion's mane. And I believe that those are mushrooms. Or camu camu, okay, I don't know what camu camu is after all. Because it says it has vitamin C and minerals. Lion's mane is a functional mushroom. To be very honest with you, I'm quite scared of mushrooms. Like, I feel like, what if I'm allergic to them or something? Chances are, no. I mean, I've eaten mushrooms before, but I just get, like, worried because there's just so much diverse types of mushrooms, you know? But I am going to try it out, and let's see what it's like. Um, that looks interesting. Maybe I didn't shake it well enough. Let me ask Metro Station. Ah, they're good at shaking things. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and try this. I mean, I'm scared of trying it, but not really. But it smells really good. Wow. Dang, I got it on my finger. Flavor-wise, it's excellent. You know, I know that, like, not all mushrooms are psychedelic, but I get so scared, like, what if I have a psychedelic experience? on like a regular mushroom, I would get effing terrified. I'm even terrified right now as I'm drinking it. Anyway. Wow, it's so good. Like what if it opens my third eye so quickly that I just get scared, you know? Well, I mean, at least if I find out I'm allergic, it would be embarrassing because I'm in public, but at least I'm in public. kind of good that I'm not sponsored by them because I don't think they would take so kindly to me saying that in a video like that might scare potential clients away that's why it's probably best for me not to get sponsored by brands that like okay I I'm on board with this brand I love it but it's probably me it's probably not best for me to get sponsored by people because, like, what if I do have differing opinions, you know? I value the truth 1,000 times more than getting free stuff. This is really good. Super delicious, but trust and believe, you know I got anxiety. You know I have anxiety right now, thinking like, am I hearing differently? Am I seeing differently? Is my skin itchy? My skin been itchy. I got bit by mosquitoes the other day during karaoke night. And probably bit by ants in my bed. Um, cause there be ants. Anyway, I'm like, what if I see clearer or hear clearer? Like, will it scare me? Anyway, this is a really healthy drink and the flavor is on point. I really don't even know what elderberry is either, bro. What if I'm allergic to that? I hope not. Why do I say that? It's because it's new, it's because it's different. I'm like, oh my gosh, do my eyes feel different? Uh, you know? Like, improvements in health are really good, but I, I can see how like some people can feel like a too quick of an improvement, even if it's an improvement, is scary. Yep. To take your brain's like capabilities to the next level like it could be scary to some people um again this does not contain any psychedelics this does not contain psychedelic mushrooms nothing but in my mind i'm just like scared of the idea of mushrooms like i literally have a stigma against mushrooms i'm literally 
discriminatory against eating mushrooms. Because they're powerful, are they not? Are they not like our origin? Are they not like a fungus or something? Like, isn't that crazy? Bro, I love how I'm scared of it, but I finished it. I didn't get every drop out of there, but I tried. Trust me. And I'm over here. I'm out here licking my lips. Um, and yes, I'm scared. I have anxiety. But I'm feeling like much more calm than ever too. I'm like, what if it changed my mood instantly? What if it reconnected my chakras and everything and aligned my everything? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about when I say that. But what if it realigned me? Like, I don't even know. Maybe. Who be out here? Who buys extra large protection? <sighs> what is that smell from? It's like dusty and dirty and nasty. Ew, that truck. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go away really quickly. If I didn't feel like showering today, F yeah, I'm a shower. But that, those, that smoke to get on our, our skin or like on our contact lenses and then you blink and then it gets in the, your eyelids again and everything. It's crazy. And then there's, there's like a whole bunch of people at Walmart and this person's just driving their car and it's leaking all these fumes. Like stop driving your car, bro. Like that is literally crazy. Like there's so many people around, you know? And then themselves too, they're gonna get out of their truck and be bombarded with all these toxic stuff, fumes. Now I'm all paranoid. I'm like, oh, the smoke got on me. Oh my gosh, like that isn't good, you know? We're like flesh, like we're organic material. Like to have that on us is not healthy at all. I saw one of my friends from theater, so I feel better now. I hope, ah, oh, dang. Was that drink gluten-free? I mean, I don't even know. I think so. I, I mean, I think I've checked it before and I think it has been like in the clear for me to buy, you know? Um, and usually those drinks are gluten-free. So I, I just hope it was, but to be honest, um, it has me feeling like a million bucks. Probably because it was a healthy meal that I ate the first thing of the day. I haven't even eaten anything else. And it was a healthy like drink or supplement or whatever. But it just has me feeling like a million bucks. I feel younger. I look younger. I am better already. That drink changed my life in a positive way. And you know what? I recommend it. 10 out of 10. I ain't finna go to the library. I'm finna do the work from my phone. I mean, I already know what I'm gonna do for my presentation tomorrow. I'm gonna talk about Angela Ardens and Tim Cook. And I'm also gonna talk about um, conflict I had at teleperformance and how that was resolved and how you should always think about conflict in a way where you try to resolve it in a cordial way because if you don't later down the line when someone has something that you need then you can't ask for it really because you like were mean to them you know um or even if they don't have something that you need and i don't like asking i don't like saying it in a way that is like very like that like oh when you need something they won't be there for you if you're rude to them but like it's just better to be in harmony with people and like be able to talk to people you know and if you need a friend or support or even someone to talk to it doesn't have to be material like you can't reach out if you like completely burn that bridge you know you know i wanted to totally be done with la sierra refried beans i just wanted more high quality products but um just getting a different spice is going to add a new dimension to the to the foods I'm eating and so I'm glad and I'm actually very thankful that I have my food but I'm glad to get something similar but make it a little different I feel like that it adds depth to my appreciation for the food sometimes I try to turn away from people that wouldn't they wouldn't help me under any circumstance they've never been helpful to me and then I find myself kind of like getting into a mode where I like miss them and I'm trying to let go but sometimes I get closer instead of going away from them and then things become more broken and weird and I just don't know what to think and it's sometimes fine to not have the answers to those things other than just focus on myself like 
ew i tried to say like and it sounded all weird um like if i don't work on myself i could get evicted i don't want that my success is here it's gonna come and the people that didn't help me along the way when i needed it most I'll remember. So I tried this Mexican season seasoning carne asada Mexican style citrus blend by Kinders. And um, it's okay. I mean, I put it on rice and beans. Um, I don't know, the flavor is there, but maybe I needed to add more. Um, yeah, I'm a little upset right now, so. I'm not feeling it.